my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ good morning today we are celebrating the fourth Sunday of Easter today the dream of Jesus is proclaimed through the gospel one flock and one shepherd that was the greatest dream of Jesus and the Israelites they knew very well as they were an agricultural society they had sheep and goats and they were taking care of the importance of being a shepherd there are the owners who were taking care of the sheep and there were paid servants who were taking care of the sheep the difference is that if something is coming to attack or take away the owner will lay down his life for the sheep and Jesus is saying that I am the good shepherd and the good shepherd we read in the Psalm 23 how the shepherd is taking care of the sheep I can very well say that since I also have here some sheep and goats how they will be really taking care and listening to our voice calling them they will be coming to us and the way they are closely associated with the shepherd so Jesus is telling that he is the good shepherd the good shepherd is sacrificing his life ready to lay down his life for the sheep and he also says that his greatest dream that there are also other folks rather than this and what does it uh, what does Jesus mean by that he says that the entire humanity belongs to him and he wanted to take care of them that is exactly what he is claiming by one shepherd and one flock and then the letter of Saint John speaks about that we are all the children of God and we do not know that we are the children because we do not know him who is that him it is Jesus it is in and through Jesus we are becoming the children of God he is the one Savior the Savior who has given his life to us and by giving his life he has brought us raised us as the children of God this is what today we are celebrating Jesus as the Good Shepherd a shepherd who had laid down his life and living ever after he had regained his life through the Spirit through the Holy Spirit and through the Father and he is the communion so in the communion of God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Jesus is inviting us to be the children of God so that this dream of Jesus one flock one humanity in service of God for, for the glory of God and serving the wider humanity which he has shown to us this is what he meant by I am the good shepherd and in becoming this good shepherd I am absolutely sure that the pastors the priests and the bishops who are following the Jesus in taking care of the flock definitely there will be struggles and Jesus had already warned to us there will be struggle but he is there to guide us and this is part and parcel of being shepherding and when Jesus is there with us the good shepherd is with us he will definitely take care of us to be 
part of this shepherding process and we will be able to transcend these struggles where there are the songs like you know shepherd me o lord beyond my fears beyond my fears so let us become follower of jesus to be a good disciple and become a good shepherd and work for his dream of realizing one flock and one shepherd jesus the shepherd the good shepherd the great savior of humanity thank you